how can we manage effective refiling and understand whether the available routine can be impacted by other hotspots and delay? How could we manage sudden changes in traffic demand? What about the way we deal with those flights that are critical for us if they are delayed? How to know which flights are critical? How do we reduce the coordination effort between airspace users and the e-help desk? How to consider business aviation specificity? For example, our need for flexibility. The aim of this key research and development activity is to reduce the impact of ATM planning on airspace user cost of operations. Three concepts were validated during the project. This is also a key step toward the automation of collaborative trajectory planning processes. Uh, to those exercises, we had seven airlines, two ANSPs and Eurocontrol Network Manager participating. To set up the platform, we had six partners developing their prototype. Eurocontrol led the last exercise. We prototyped a new functionality into our end flight planning system. Using enhanced integration with Eurocontrol's network manager, the new functionality ingests flow management constraints and automatically proposes new routes, aimed at avoiding regulations and hotspots. This helps to minimize delays while optimizing cost. We enhanced our suite for airlines product, helping airlines minimize network disruptions. Airline users were able to submit critical flight designations proactively and reactively, as well as view a situation display and alerts for data newly available from Eurocontrol's network manager demand capacity balancing functions. It was a pleasure for Thales to contribute to Solution 38 exercise. Collaboration with our partners was very fruitful. In particular, Italian FMPs have tested our prototype. Both concepts, protection of spot and proactive FDCI, are strongly supported by all the stakeholders involved. And we are fully confident that they can be implemented at very short term. Thanks to better information exchange with NM and FMPs, we expect to better optimize our flight trajectories and reduce dispatcher workload. We are confident that this concept will improve the coordination process with NM, an airspace user, and they allow us to make better decisions. Due to the future implementation of the proactive flight delay criticality indicator, the PFDCIs, we in NMOC expect to reduce the amount of e-help desk calls as most issues could be solved before SID-1. The protection hotspots, we expect to reduce the demand instability thanks to less late flight plan changes in these areas and optimize the network usage due to better collaboration and sharing of up-to-date data amongst all actors.